Gotcha. What's up, dude? Not much. How are you? I'm good. Our CMA 2021 awards coverage brought to you by the folks at DHY Motorsports. Revved up gift ideas for the motorsports enthusiast. Do you do the motorsports, Drew? I love motorsports. I'm a huge racing fan, NASCAR fan. Nice. Yeah. And and when when the pandemic happened in 2020, I actually went and bought a NASCAR simulator and started uh, doing this thing called iRacing. And uh, it was something that I could go do late at night and just kind of get my mind off of everything going on. So I'm a huge motorsports fan. You got to graduate to the uh, simulated flying uh, games. So you can I know. fly 747s. I, I, I got friends of mine that do that and just crash. They, they don't even care about getting there. They just... <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, you know what would be great? Let's crash into Tokyo. <laughs> there you go. That's it. That's awesome. Well, good. It's good to see you. Um, yeah. Congratulations being nominated for Songwriter for Song of the Year, which is one of the greatest nominations you could have. And you and Luke put together that great song, Forever After All, and um wow it really resonated with people all over the country yeah man that song is so special i mean when when we wrote it we knew it was special it was special to us and it was something that we wanted to say just to our wives and and have that special message so to see that kind of connect with people and all country music fans kind of across the united states and all over the world has been really special to to, to watch it be wedding songs and that kind of thing it's you know it's it's really special and i'm i'm what i'm so thankful for that song and happy to see uh kind of the life that it's built of its own have you ever had a truck that went three hundred thousand miles uh i have not my dad did though so i know that they can go that far <laughs> uh, there, used to, there used to be a car company that used to give you a free car if you got to a million miles on the odometer really yeah well, that, I'm, that company is now me. out of business <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> so that's uh, awesome. well that's a great line a good truck gets you three hundred thousand. You. you don't hear any songs saying a car could get you that's a million that's that's uh, awesome that was kind of a, a real tough goal to reach uh but anyway <laughs> you look like you're having fun. what i like about you drew is you laugh you're having fun and uh, I know you came out at a really interesting time in country music and you didn't really get a chance to get out and do all the great things, but it was great to see you when you came in a couple of weeks ago and hang out. And, um, now you're going to see the world and, and tomorrow night when the CMAs come out, you're going to see an arena full of folks there in Bridgetown. Yeah, man. You know, I mean, I'm so thankful to get to do this and all of it. I love country music with my entire heart. So to get to be a part of it, um, I mean, I have a degree in radiology and I was taking x-rays when I first moved to Nashville and, uh, started, started writing songs and, you know, this beats any day doing that. So that I'm so just so thankful to get to do this. And I mean, how can you not be happy and having a good time when, when country music is kind of what your career is, um, something that you love to do and also getting to do it with people I love writing songs with Luke Combs and Rob Williford and being nominated for this award mm. uh, just makes it that much better. So it's, it's really cool. So t I, I, I saw this when they first debuted you, I was on the zoom like we are right now. And right. you did a little performance uh, in the studio with your band and they showed a little film of the hospital that you used to work in. And they were actually there with the, your coworkers and your boss and the folks. And uh, tell everybody that's not familiar here on the radio and, and here on, on our video chat uh, about you going in and, and quitting after working for your radiology degree for so many years and finally getting right. the degree and, and not long after just leaving your job. Yeah. So I, uh, on March 22nd of 2020, I had my first number one with a song called Homemade as a songwriter. And uh, that's the Jake Owen song. That's Jake Owen. Yep. On March 23rd, I was going in to work my last shift at the hospital. I was in the bedroom at my house, putting my scrubs on. My wife walks in the bedroom and uh, proceeds to tell me she's in labor. And oh. so, in a matter of 72 hours, I had my first number one called out of what was supposed to be my last shift at the hospital and, and became a dad for the first time. And so, I, uh, I haven't talked to him, but I probably still owe that hospital at least one last shift of some yeah. sort. Um, but they're going to have a tough what? time getting me to come out there and, did and, they pay and you? fulfill that they, role. Did they, they pay you for that <laughs> last day? 
You know what? I don't even know, to be honest with you. I should go check. <laughs> That'd be great. Send them a little fruit basket. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, much success, Drew. You're a really nice guy, and 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 I, I wish you the best, and hope we see you on the road here coming up in, in the next year. Thanks, Raz, man. I appreciate okay. you, man. Thanks, thanks for having me, and, and right. good talking to you again. I'll see you soon. All right. That's Philly's Country Station 92.5 XTU.